So it's a new day and another adventure awaits. Today is a pretty special day for Haley, and let me explain why. So since Haley was five years old, she's been playing soccer, whether it be recreational, club, GISA, high school. But last year was the last year she was eligible to play. She's getting old, like the rest of us, you know? She's becoming an adult, she's going off to college, but she still loves the game of soccer and wanted to be involved in it somehow. So her coach came to her at the end of the season last year and said, hey, listen, I know you're really into this. How would you like to be my assistant coach? He's been looking for one for a couple years, and has no success. He knew he wanted to recruit from within. He tried it the previous year, it didn't work out. He knew Haley was a little bit different and that if she made a commitment, she would stick to it. Today is their first real game. Now they actually had a game earlier, but it got rained out. So they only played like five minutes. So she's like, I'm not counting that dad. I was like, I can understand that. But today, today is her first real game where she has to sit on the sideline. She's got her kit. She's gonna put on her new boots. She's gonna be like, you do this, you do that, have fun, or sit on the bench and just be disappointed and give her the RBF face to the girls when they suck. I don't know. I'm pretty excited though, because as a parent, these are the things that we look forward to, the successes and failures of our kids. Hopefully successes, but they do have to fail every now and then to learn what a success means. Any of you guys out there have kids that play sports, you know, Sundays are fun days when it comes to actually having that event. Sometimes they fall in the morning, sometimes they fall in the afternoon, late afternoon, and you, you have a full day. Today's not the case. Today our game is at three o'clock. She's got to be the field at 1.30, but that means that the day is pretty much going to be absorbed by her first game coaching soccer. I'm excited just to be part of it. She's like, dad, are you coming? I was like, kidding me? Of course I'm coming. I can't wait to come. I've been looking forward to this ever since you started coaching. What parent wouldn't want to see their kid do something that they love? I mean, as a parent, isn't that our job to support our kids and be like, yeah, do it. Quick side note, if you guys like this video, thumb it up. Haley's requested that, hey, if you like it, give us a comment. She loves reading the comments. So if you're watching it, say something in the comments, whether you like it, you hate it, whatever. Just leave something in the comments or express your boring day. Tell us what you did on your boring day. Either way, it's fun. I got more miles to hit before I go wake her up. It's starting to cool down just a tad bit here in Florida. Just a tad. See you guys in a little bit. Oh, thanks. How you doing? How am I doing? Yeah, how you doing? I'm doing fine. Yeah? Yes. Did you get enough sleep? Never get enough sleep. Well, considering you woke me up at 9 o'clock for no reason, yeah, it was an accident. So on the headphones, you know how you like you double click to go track up? If you double click and then click or double it it dials the last number. Oh, and I was the lucky person. You were the last number. Well I thought I ended it, but the watch only works so well with sweaty water fingers, so Yeah. Sorry. Love you. Thanks for calling me back though. I didn't want to, but then I felt guilty. What if he died or something? <laughs> Yeah, that's true. Good call. All right, so the reason why I'm carrying this pair of socks is we're going to go and look for some new running shoes. I usually have three pairs. I know what you're thinking. One is because we live in Florida and we have crappy weather. And then the other two are to rotate days. One of them is squeaking. It's really weird. So I think I broke them. I don't know how you break shoes, but I think I broke them. So we're going to go to St. Pete Running Company, get new shoes. Plus, they are giving away a free hat. Not that I need a new hat because I just got this one. Ooh, thank you. They got, they got this for me in a shirt. Apparently, what type of water did you put in this? The stuff from the uh, refrigerator. Oh, tastes funny. Well, I made sure I licked it. <laughs> so gross. Actually, I found sorter. I gave it to you. No? Okay, yeah. I saw it. Pour. Is he gonna pour? Turn around. 
Ooh. Oh, it is pouring over there. What makes you laugh? Well, because at practice on, when did we have practice? Thursday. Katie's like, look, the clouds are so dark. And we're walking and I was like, yeah, no, they're not. And then it starts pouring and I was like, I love how those dark clouds are the ones thundering. And she just starts laughing. <laughs> Because the thunder is coming from over there. <laughs> It's a super successful trip to the shoe store. Picked up two new pairs of shoes. Got some new Newtons and got some of these, whatever, Q, Q, QN, QU, I don't know what they're called. They felt really good running them. And of course, they lured me in with a free hat. Good move, guys, good move. They did give me a really good deal on these Newtons because they were older ones. I got them super cheap compared to what the new ones cost, so that's kind of nice. All this made Haley late. I'm gonna drive her to practice. She's in getting her stuff on, and we're gonna hop in the car, we gotta get to the field, and I'm gonna drop her off, and then I gotta go get gas in her. You know, all the fun stuff. She's freaking out because I'm gonna make her late. The game. Big game. You excited? Stomach hurts? Not cool. Yeah, they better win. I was gonna give some like, hey, it's not. Oh! Breathe, honey, breathe. Okay. I'm late. Yeah, yeah. You're indecisive. What do you mean I'm just indecisive? You couldn't pick a pair of shoes to save your life. I bought two pair. Yeah, There's but only you couldn't three to pick. choose from. Okay, but it sure took you a long time to pick two between three. Well, I had to try them out. I mean, they're not like cheap. Let's be honest, you already knew which ones you wanted. Yeah. Okay, so I'm not gonna lie. I got a little right. caught up in the moment. I, I lost track of time. No one else was mentioning the fact that I should have hurried up. My bad. My bad. I mean, we're actually a minute. Oh, all right. All right this minute, it's 1.50. So now, now we're on borrowed time. You look fly in that new shirt. I know. Got a collar. <laughs> Reminds me when we when we were doing the news show. We start. Remember when we did the news show? We did like two of those. Yeah. I told Fernando I was like, you got to get a polo. And he's like, I don't have any polos. I was like, dude, everyone has a polo. Yeah. He had a polo. He had one polo. So. Yeah, I was, he's like, can I just know he had a polo? So that was kind of funny. The red polo is so ugly. Is it? I've never worn it. No? Should've got a bigger one. Should've got large. I'd wear it. Well, they gave two a two XL. Uh, yeah. Like, what the heck? <laughs> he was like, black shirts, black shirt, black shorts. I was like, are you asking me what I'm wearing? <laughs> and he was like, yeah, we're supposed to match. <laughs> I was like, well, I can wear my, I was gonna wear my black polo. He's like, black polo is good. Okay. Did you say, I don't know, I don't really do ugly? What are you talking about? You're supposed to match? You're supposed to pick on Okay, me? that's rude. You're so evil, man. You just get this evil look on your face so bad. What made me think of is that contact photo. Oh, is it a potato? <laughs> I'm so mute. <laughs> Don't put that in there. Oh, yeah, totally put it in there. Because he watches. I know. I know. 
That's great. Well, his own wife profile picture for him is David Beckham, so I mean, I don't know which worse. Granny, push the pedal. Go, 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 go. Yeah, well, life doesn't have to be this fast. You gotta sit back, relax. Well, relax. when you're late, it needs to be fast. For two minutes. Oh, three minutes. Okay, I don't like being late. I know, I don't either. I didn't have any place to be, so... I'm the type of person that likes to be 20 minutes early. Yeah, I know, me too. But, when it's not my schedule. I mean, tomorrow at the airport, you know, I'm gonna sit there for an hour and a half before the flight takes off, probably. Hopefully. Yeah. Oh, we're getting Pappas as a ref. He sucks. Let's hope he doesn't watch the show. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> he sucks. He let a fight, basically a fight break out. Right. Between the boys team and didn't even like give anybody a card. I was like, what? Ooh, did you see that stink eye? That was, was that was scary. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty scary. I was gonna, <laughs> dude. That is so sad because I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> oh, we hang out way too much apparently. Dude, it's 35 through here. Relax. Or 30 through here. <laughs> And the cops sit here. Calm down, man. We don't. We've oh. never had that happen. Okay, right. Well, we don't need to. Exactly. It's 30. You're doing 30. Oh, you're actually doing 32. <laughs> you're okay. You'll make it. Well, I'm already late. Yeah, exactly. Five minutes. You have know, second place is still the first place loser. Whether you came oh, in. I'm just like going to push my glasses off. <laughs> Why'd you take your glasses off? Because when I get sweaty, they fall down. Yeah. It's just like, I don't feel like doing that. Yeah, point dexters? Yeah, it's just uh, I do it all day. Oh my god. Tip top. I have a book bite on my elbow and it's really annoying. Just thought I'd tell you. Thank you. Thank you. This is. I don't know. Um, Mom is worried that they're gonna get in fights because Plant City is supposed to be a mean club. And? It's not like your girls are a bunch of pussy cats. Why are you on our field? Who? Them! Okay, I'm just gonna leave you here. Leave you here. Yeah. Oh, hush. That was still so much better than what you Alright. You could have left it running. Oh. Alright. I'll Bye. see you in a few. You want... I, left I don't need your phone. Can I have my backpack? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Where's it at? It's between your legs. Oh. You're here before all the girls. And it looks like Drew just got here. No, he didn't. He was, at, he was on his way here when we were at the light. Well, he's Sasquatching it over there, so you'll be okay. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Nobody here! Can we move her back? Move her off the line Did a little bit? Did you see what a struggle it was to move her? <laughs> <laughs> this girl's had pulled up. Yeah, I have I no function to talk whatsoever. Alright, what was the score of the game? Honestly, I have no idea. 5-4. Was it 5-4? I think it was 5-4. Five 5-4. Four. Five four. So we were losing most of the game, so it was really nice to come back and win. Did you guys score first or second? You scored second. Or third. I don't no, remember. No, we scored second because Izzy got a no goal. Oh, yeah, that's right. She was kind of bummed about that. So, how was your first coaching experience? <laughs> it was good. I didn't really say much. <laughs> I mean, I did, but like, it's just awkward. <laughs> yeah, you made, you had a player get hurt. So oh, you, yeah, you, I made a big save. You had to make the run across the field. I had, two. You had to do it twice? Yeah, because Isis, he's like, can you go help her? She's going a little slow. I didn't see that one. That was the first half. Yeah, yeah. No, I remember it happening. I didn't realize you ran over there. Well, I like kind of galloped because I didn't really feel like running. Mm -hmm. Okay. See you guys, McKellen. Yep, going fast. So what was it like sitting on the bench? It's or so boring. See, you always yelled at me. He was getting mad. Yeah, because the team was crap. Well, the ref was going to make some crap calls. Oh my calls. god. Yeah. Pappas. I told you Pappas sucks. I called it. So, real quick, remember when we were at. You need windshield wipers and totes. Well, we'll get them Thursday. Or we'll yeah. get them next week. That'll be next week's show. <laughs> we get windshield wipers and totes. Woohoo! Unsubscribe. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember when we were at the shoe place and the guy was talking about how he had to leave because he was going to teach the little kids how to run? Mm -hmm. That was like the coolest thing. There are there logic yeah. behind that. I thought that was cool too. The guy who owns the running store actually goes and trains little kids to run to show them that running is fun and it's actually a reward and not a punishment. Which kind of caught me off guard because yeah, I was, I was like, kind of confused. But the reason why he said it was a punishment was because most of the time, like in sports, when you do something wrong, they tell you to go take a lap. Yeah, or do some sprints. So running is like everyone just learns to hate it. Yeah, it's a punishment. Yeah. Where he's trying to show people how much fun it is. I thought that was cool. Yeah, it is. I wish I got that. Yeah. Well, I mean, every time I ask you to run, you think it's punishment. I'm being cruel to you, so. As it is, it's horrible. <laughs> okay. It's the worst. Yeah, so maybe if you were a little kid and. Yeah, that's what I just said. I oh. wish I got that. Oh. Mm -hmm. That's cool. I thought that was neat. Yeah, he seems like a cool guy. Yeah, it was, it was a cool guy, and he spent lots of my money, so. Although he did give us a good deal on that one pair I was going to say. Yeah. He could have made you pay full price. No, he didn't. It was nice of him. All right. And that's the day. Yeah. Oh my god, they're matching. Oh, we are matching. Ooh, black polos. Mm. Well, I have to leave because I have to go to Oklahoma, Oklahoma, Oklahoma. Yeah. And you have to go meet mom. Uh, she's bowling now. Isn't that exciting? That's the boring life ever. Boring. That's the boring <laughs> day right there. Let's go watch bowling. Yeah, for real. For all you bowlers out there, it's nothing. All right. Thank you guys so much as always for watching. Like I said at the beginning, please give us a comment. Let us know what you think of the show so far, how we're yeah. doing, if it's interesting. Well, you know what to do. All right, kiddo. Great as always. I enjoyed my day. Thank you so much. It's boring. So boring, wasn't it? No. Yeah, it was pretty cool. I Watching know. you coach was pretty fun. The Bucks won. We won. I mean, I don't really care about the Bucks. He mambo, she mambo, he me, she. Anyways, okay, SpongeBob reference. All right, guys, you have a great night as always. We'll see you later next time. Bye. Bye.